Hey, Comic-Gun fans, welcome back. I'm John Wise, and this is a toy review of the Maddie Collector Masters of the Universe Scarecrow. Oh, hey, guys, welcome to comic -Gun. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Uh, I... <laughs> Uh, right off the bat, I want to say from the uh, vintage figure on the box, which I don't have, the original said the, vin the uh, evil ghost of Skeletor. This was changed for the new uh, Manny Collector Classics line. He is now the evil uh, ghost minion of Skeletor. So, and this guy just screams cool. This is one of the best looking figures that have come out of the line. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and go right into them. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over the basics on this guy first. Uh, first articulation, you'll notice he does have a cape. Uh, if you pop his head off, it is removable, but it is a very pliable plastic and very translucent. I don't know if it comes out well on camera. But the further uh, down you go in the cape, it's very translucent. Uh, and that is to mimic the cloth cape that he, the vintage figure had. Um, so you're going to have some uh, head movement issues, but the head does move uh, left to right. It is on a ball joint, so it will move up and down. But again, the cape is going to get in the way of that. So depending on how you want to display him um, with without the cape. Uh, the arms do move up and down. These are very tight joints. As you can tell, there's even a click. So uh, they move forward and backwards. There's movement at the bicep, bending at the elbow, and then of course we have the uh, swivel at the wrists. Uh, his waist also moves from side to side. Uh, again, very tight. Uh, the legs forward and backward. You can move them outward. It does have the soft loincloth. Uh, the, the boot cut doesn't really have much of a swivel, but you do have the joints and a swivel at the feet, which is cool. Uh, Scare Glow is one of the few Mary Collector figures that actually retains its special feature, action feature, from the vintage line. And that is, and I don't know how well this would come out on camera, but he glows in the dark. So, I don't know if that's something we want to try right now. Uh, let's see here. He has had light on him for a while. So, let's turn this off. Oh, wait, there we go. So, yeah, that's pretty darn cool. Scareglow mm -hmm. comes with a few extra, feature, uh, extra accessories. One of which is his vintage scythe. Now, the vintage had two different scythes. A pure green one and one that glowed in the dark. This one captures both of those as the blade, like the figure, and the spikes both glow in the dark. So that is really cool. And that can fit in either hand, but it's pretty much meant for his right hand. The other awesome thing he comes with, you'll notice this. And if you want to get a close-up of that, You'll notice that is a, some type of a scepter with Castle Grayskull on the top. It is also attached to a chain, which is a real metal chain, and a wrist cuff. And that just clips on Scareglow's wrist. The reason being is because of his bio being that he is a criminal who kept trying to uh, break in and steal the secrets of Castle Grayskull. When he died, he managed to get the key to Castle Grayskull, but could never enter it. And yes, this opens up, and inside 
is the key to Castle Grayskull. Now what's really cool is this figure came out about three years, I believe two or three years before the Maddie Collector's Castle Grayskull playset came out. And guess what? There's a secret side door of Castle Grayskull that this key fits into that you can use to open the side door of the playset. So that's really cool. Alright guys, so there you have them. Really awesome paint job. Um, I would have preferred a cloth cape, but the cape that they have on here is really cool. It's very pliable. I love the fact it goes uh, translucent. Uh, I like the fact that they honored the original, both original weapons by having a green and glow-in-the-dark feature. The fact that Maddie um, actually kept Scare Scareglow's action feature where he glows in the dark was even really even better. Um, the side, the extra accessory, the key to Gray Skull was even was just a, a, an amazing addition to this figure. So um, this guy, um, I'm not sure. This guy, I actually am more of aware of uh, the price on him. He is one of the pricey ones because of the key of uh, Gray Skull that he comes with, and he goes roughly between seventy to a hundred dollars on card. Um, out of card, probably closer to 70 or $80. That's on eBay, which unfortunately is the only way you're going to be able to get this figure. Um, well worth it. He is one of my favorite Master Universe Classics figures. He looks cool. Uh, he has glows in the dark. And uh, he is uh, in my bedroom with the rest of the uh, Master Universe Classic figures. And when I turn the lights off, he does have that massive glow to him. Uh, he lights up half of the villain side of the figure. So it's really cool. Um, so we'll go ahead here. And again, just an amazing figure. So, uh, like I said, if he's one you're wanting to add to your collection, he runs roughly between seventy to hundred dollars, depending on if you want him a uh, mint on card or uh, loose. Uh, eBay is really probably the only place you're going to get this guy. Um, maybe at trade shows. So, happy collecting, my Comageddon friends, and that's a wrap for today. <laughs>